I have Imtiaz Chowdhury here from Workday. And first of all, I'd like to say congratulations on being a founding, founding member of the One Million Core Club for OpenStack. It's such a tremendous honor, and I'm so excited to be talking to you today. Thank you, Alison. So one of the things, you know, we've talked, we were at the keynotes or at the summit last year. Um, we talked a little bit about what you're doing with OpenStack, but why are you running OpenStack in production at Workday? So we've been running OpenStack in production for now almost more than uh, eight plus years. And uh, originally we started running uh, OpenStack because we, our company had a virtualization objective. Like we wanted to move our workload from bare metal platform to virtualized work. And that was the primary driver. And then after that, like over the years, we proved that OpenStack is a very solid, reliable, and scalable platform. We've been running uh, our, as, as you just mentioned, like we've reached a million core and we are we have deploying our applications. And over the last few years, our SLA or like the service level objective that we have, we are like 99%, most of the time we had very zero downtime and we are creating 50,000 plus VMs uh, every week uh, and deleting them. So the reliability and the scalability of the platform made it uh, like a choice of platform for applications to be deployed. And it allowed like few transformation within Workday. One was uh, the virtualization goal and it also transformed how we uh, deploy application in general. So, you know, one of the things that you just mentioned was that with OpenStack, you're able to provide a cloud infrastructure with minimal downtime. Yeah. Why is that important for your customers, your end users? Well, it's uh, important for the end users because uh, end users don't want to have downtime. So at the end, and so there are two ways, like once we deploy application, we don't want ap the application to go down. It can mean like for a customer, let, let's say like Target, like if our, the application goes down, that may mean like people using Target, Target employees may not get paid on time. Uh, uh, during Christmas season, Target is hiring a lot. Workday is an HR company, um, like HR service, software as a service provider primarily. There are other solutions we have, but it can mean like people are, like some company may not be able to hire or they not be able to even make payments to their employees. So it, it is very critical that the, our application stays up all the time. Yes, that sounds very critical, especially heading into the holiday season. So it's definitely great that OpenStack is giving you all that zero downtime that you're looking for. Um, so I know that OpenStack isn't the only kind of cloud environment that y'all work or that y'all run at Workday. Do you also leverage public cloud resources as well? Yeah, we have presence in other public cloud. We have deployment in AWS, and we are also doing some in uh, Google, GCP. Uh, there are some services in Azure as well. Awesome. So are you using any other open source technologies to orchestrate across these different cloud environments like Kubernetes? Yeah, we use Kubernetes. Kubernetes is the chosen application deployment uh, platform, of in, especially in public cloud. We do have some Kubernetes presence within our data center as well that hasn't uh, been deployed in production yet. Uh, and other technologies we are using, like we use Argo CD, another open source project for continuous uh, delivery of uh, application. We use uh, console, uh, we use Istio. These are for like uh, uh, basically building uh, inter-service uh, connectivity or service mesh. Uh, there, are, yeah, work is very big on open source technologies. Uh, there's also uh, uh, Terraform uh, that's uh, used widely that allows us to deploy similar type of like setting up the infrastructure across multiple clouds and abstracts the cloud or infrastructure layer for us. So you're basic, you are open infra. <laughs> you are running open source throughout the entire stack. It's really cool to see that in production at Workday. Um, so one of my favorite questions I always have to ask because I do love data. Um, and especially we're celebrating 1 million cores of OpenStack and 25 million cores in production worldwide. But you know, what is your scale of OpenStack? Because I know I saw a tweet from you and this is how we ended up here on camera today. Um, that y'all had doubled your infrastructure, your OpenStack infrastructure since the last time that you talked to Mark and Jonathan in 2020. Tell us about your scale and why y'all are seeing such incredible growth. Sure. So right now we have uh, 
uh, OpenStack deployment in five different data centers that are five different geographical locations across the US and the EU. Uh, there are 64 different OpenStack clusters uh, or deployments, and each of them are roughly 300 uh, some hypervisors. Our total uh, right now, or last I checked, we had over 16,000 hypervisors and running 50, over 50,000 virtual machines. And this is in production. Like, and we have more in uh, development environment. So that's uh, the scale and it's growing. And the reason why we are growing is that um, the primary driver is definitely the Workday's business as Workday is getting more and more customers. We need uh, more servers to host them. So that's uh, one of the like key drivers. And as I said, like since it's reliable, like instead of deploying application on bare metal or somewhere else, people are saying like, okay, this is a proven platform. Let's uh, continue to grow this platform. So those are, I would say, primary. And then on top of that, that some new services, when we're, like there are new services that want to like uh, go into production, we are providing this entire pipeline or a deployment method. So the, for application developers, it's relatively easy to build their application. And then they say, can define that I want my application to be rolled out in all this geographical location. And we built tools and processes around that build on top of OpenStack uh, that allows us to simplify application or a new service deployment. So that there are also new services coming onboarding on top of OpenStack. So these are, I would say like three main reasons why we are, we continue to see it like growth. Well, it's really exciting. And I can't wait for the next time we get to sit down and talk about the OpenStack growth at Workday. But I do want to thank you for joining me here today on the Open and for Live keynotes, MTOs. Thank you, Alice.